everyone welcome back to my channel today i decided to film something a bit different i'm filming my makeup bag of the now i can't decide i'm going to do this weekly two weekly or monthly yet um basically i got this idea from andrea Militano. i'm really sorry i probably can't pronounce her surname but i've been subscribed to her for ages on youtube and i absolutely love her i'll link her channel in the description box but she does a makeup drawer of the month where she goes through all her makeup and you know goes through what she's going to use for that month to make sure she's actually getting use out of all her makeup so i'm really breathless it's really muggy today um, and I thought that was a great idea. Now, I don't have anywhere near as much makeup as, like, beauty vloggers have, but I do have a lot of makeup. You know, I have an entire drawer just of makeup palettes, like, eyeshadow palettes. I have a whole drawer of other makeup. Actually, I have a video of me organising my makeup. I'll link it above. And since then, I've bought so much more makeup. It's insane. So I do have a lot of makeup that I don't regularly use. Um... And a lot of it just gets untouched. I just seem to go for the same look, the same lipsticks, the same eyeshadows, kind of almost on a daily basis. Um, you know, I'm always very warm tone shadows. Again, totally inspired by Andrea. She just, she's amazing. So the past couple of weeks, I've actually been doing my makeup downstairs in the living room just because there's better lighting. I have a better mirror down here and I've been storing my makeup in this bag which is the Mermaid Fan Club bag which I got in Peacocks and I think this bag cost me about £4 um, but basically <laughs> I started taking over the living room with my makeup and our makeup's our makeup our living room's a mess already it's so cluttered but it got me thinking okay I like storing all my makeup upstairs but it's easier for me to do my makeup downstairs and I kind of thought, well, why don't I mix up my bag every week or every month, where, however I feel, and start using products that are sitting in the back of my drawer, have kind of been neglected, and see if I really want to keep them, if I like them this way, and it makes me know, do I want to keep this makeup or do I want to declutter it? So, yes, as I said, I was totally inspired to actually kind of start doing this as a series on my channel, um, just because I thought it was such a great idea. So... In a minute, I'm going to open up my makeup bag, show you all the products that are inside, and yeah, this will be the first one. And then other episodes after this, I'll show you what I swap out and put in, or if I throw anything out, or if I've used anything up. Which I doubt, I've never used up any makeup. Well, no, that's a lie. Um, so yes, um, again, apologies for the kind of cluttered background. I'm filming this in the living room, and we're currently throwing a ton of stuff out so things are kind of everywhere um so if you like this type of video please give it a thumbs up comment down below if you do something like this you know if you have a lot of makeup or hair products perfumes maybe clothes whatever if this is a technique that you use in your life or does it work for you does it not i mean i'm interested to try this because i'm terrible at just buying makeup and never using it so Hopefully this works. Um, if you like these types of videos um, and want to see more from my channel, just hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you here. I post all types of videos, not just makeup related. And usually they are less last minute than this. But yeah, we'll get into okay, it. I'm just using this Iron Fist Misfits shoe box just now to balance things on. Um, I do have a haul video coming up so you will see what this was. So I'm going to start with eyeshadow palettes. So the first palette I'm going to be trying to use this week is my Peaches and Cream palette. This is a palette I made up myself and these are the four shades in here. These are really good shadows and I feel like Peaches and Cream is a brand that gets no, nowhere near enough hype that it should. I got this because they had a pop-up event in Edinburgh and I went along and I love these eyeshadows. So we've got this nice matte pink, this really shimmery bronzy colour, this kind of plummy bronze, this much deeper one. And these are really, really nice. And it's a really affordable brand as well, and the quality is amazing. So if you do ever see them, I recommend checking them out. Um, that's their website there. Um, I have a few products by them. They also do hair extensions, and they have a massive range of false eyelashes as well. So really good. 
the second palette so this is a new palette to my collection i got this the other day this is the mua makeup academy palette and this is in fire vixen this cost five pound in super drug and i was like i need this palette in my life ignore that bottom shadow there when i dug my nail into it but these are all kind of warm tone you've got a couple of like cool tone gray shadows some neutral shadows you've got shimmery shadows matte shadows kind of more satiny ones like this red here and this orange they're so pretty is totally the reason why i bought this palette and I, it's not the best quality i will admit they're a little chalky and we may have to work a little harder to blend them out but the pigmentation is really good on these um these stay on really well and as i said that red is such a good red shade this is a really affordable palette and highly recommend picking them up they have them in other colors as well so you can see my hand flying across the screen so another eyeshadow palette i'm using now this one i do use quite regularly it is one of my favorites is the urban decay basquiat palette and this is the doesn't say which one this it does have it there is two and i went for this one so this is the more kind of neutral warm tone the other one has like really bright pops of color so you have this really nice kind of neutrally shade then we've got these like kind of sparkly and then these blue shades and this beautiful gold not for sale is my favorite shade in here this again is such an amazing palette you can do again like a kind of more neutral look a warm tone kind of very smoky look you know i think it is a really good palette it also comes with this massive mirror and it is just beautiful i mean it is a collector's piece you know once you're done you can hang it up you have a piece of this work you know i have a video on this palette as well and i am obsessed with this but recently i've kind of not been using it as often um, so I'm going to try and get some more use out of this and use it alongside other palettes. And then the last palette I have, which will be in every week or month, is my Swamp Queen Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. Um, again, one of my favourite YouTubers ever. And her palette is the best. This is my all-time favourite eyeshadow palette. This is by Tarte. I'm not sure this is still available because it was limited edition. So this comes, as you can see, again, where I dug my nail into the bronzer, a blush, a highlight, and then all these beautiful shadows. These all smell like... Not quite vanilla, but they have a really sweet, like, comforting smell. They smell nice, if that makes sense. So again, we've got some really nice kind of neutral shades. Dogman is this amazing red. You can see Big Baby has a huge dent in it, so I use that as a base. We've got all these nice purples. And it is, the highlight is my favourite highlighter ever. If you don't like glitter, I wouldn't recommend this palette. But if, like me, you love glitter, then this is such an amazing palette. And the packaging is just the best packaging ever. Okay, so my, sorry, seeing bits of my background. Oh, look at my messy living room. The blush I'm planning on using this time is this rose powder in apricot by cn i got this in lidl it costs like a pound but it's surprisingly a really really nice blush again i have a video on the lidl makeup range that i will link above the bronzer plan i'm using is from the same range this is the bronzing powder in bronze shimmer again i got this from lidl for like a pound i think their makeup's still on sale i saw it last week and it's a really good bronzer. It is quite light because I'm so fair. Just throwing stuff around. I don't usually go for bronzers, but that one is light enough. The highlights I plan on using this month is this is my Makeup Revolution highlight in Peach Light. Funny, I said it's one of the first powder highlights I ever bought, and I just haven't used it in so long. It's a really goldeny peach. Highlight Makeup Revolution highlighters are some of the best highlighters, you know, affordable drugstore highlighters out there. And the other highlighter I plan on using is my Benefits What's Up. This is a cream highlight stick. And this, again, was one of the first high-end makeup products I ever bought. Uh, one of the first ever highlights I ever used. And, again, it's just been slightly neglected. And it's more of a golden tone. So I'm thinking for more autumn, that might look better. Uh, for foundation, this 
I am using my Rimmel Fresher Skin in Light Porcelain. This is kind of like a very weird consistency. It is slightly too dark for me, so I'll get onto that in a second. But this is a foundation I bought a while ago. And it has amazing coverage. It's really lightweight. I actually really quite like it on because I have really bad acne scars and acne. And I feel that it covers them up really, really well. It's just because it's from the drugstore it's always going to be a bit orange or too dark on me because I'm pale as a ghost but this is actually a really nice foundation again one that never gets talked about but I do really like it but because it is too dark I will use my body shop lightning shade adjusting drops which I put in almost every foundation apart from my number seven foundations because I found that the number 7 foundation is the only foundation light enough on its own for my skin. But these are really good. You just They have them in lightening and darkening. And they adjust the shade of your foundation. And I would be lost without these. And for setting spray, I'm using my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Almost because this is pretty much almost finished. So this probably wouldn't even last a week. It probably only has like one more use left in it. But I just want to use it up. For eye primer and concealer, I'm using my Benefit Lemonade Eye Primer and my Boing Concealer in shade number one. This came in a kit, that's why it's in this packaging. Um, I need to repurchase Boing. Um, Boing number two is way too dark, but Boing number one is a good shade. And Lemonade, I find, is a really, really good eye primer. I have like three of these, so I'm never going to run out of it. Um, I ran out of my Air Patrol primer by Benefit, which I loved. But this is a really good primer, I find. For my face primer, I'm using my Benefit The Professional. This is my favourite primer ever. As I said, I have really open pores. I have terrible skin. This is almost ran out. This is like my fifth or sixth tube of this. I love this. Um, but again, it's almost run out and my skin's just been really bad recently. So I just kind of want to get using this this week just because my skin's been really bad. And then for my under eye concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind, the eye, the eraser eye. I love this. I only bought this like a month ago, maybe a bit longer, and I'm nearly finished. It is so good. This is Tati talks about this all the time on her channel. And it really is such an amazing product. And it is so affordable. And then I'll use my this Badly Needs Wash. Uh, it's a Real Techniques blending sponge. Okay, for my brows, I'll be using this Bourjois Paris Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde Forest. It also has a little kind of spoolie brush on the end. Um, I got this the other day. As I said, if you want to see me do a haul video, because I've been on a bit of a shopping spree, uh, comment down below because I'd love to do one. But this so far, I've noticed, has been a pretty good pencil. It's a pretty good shade for me. I'm quite enjoying using a pencil again my brows and then I'll also be using my Benefit High Brow which is a brow highlighter which I use to highlight under the brow bone and across like you know the tail of the brow just to make my brows more defined. Then for mascara I am trying the L'Oreal Lash Paradise although over here it's called Paradise Exotic. Ecstatic. Um, it's a bit confusing because I was saying the States is called Lash Paradise which everyone on YouTube has been talking about. But in the UK, it's called Lash Static, which isn't the first time L'Oreal do change their names in the UK and the States, I have noticed. But they did advertise that this is the same mascara. I used it the other day and oh my god, it was like, like I love the Miss Baby Roll mascara by L'Oreal. And I didn't think this would top it, but it has. I wore it on a night out. My lashes were still massive when I came home at like two in the morning. Um, I might do a whole video on this maybe there's so many videos on this mascara but it truly is such an amazing mascara um eyeliner i'll be using my ico london skinny liquid eyeliner in black this is one of my favorite liquid liners it's a felt tip liner and it is absolutely amazing okay moving on to lips um lip liners i have this l'oreal infallible longwear lip liner in withering purple i also use this on my eyes actually i use this on the waterline because it is such an amazing pretty pinky purple color that i think goes really well with the kind of shadows i wear these are super pigmented and i also have an l'oreal Infall infallible eyeliner in super cooper and this again is so pigmented it's this beautiful bronzy eyeliner and this is a gel crayon. It cleans. It's waterproof and lasts 24 hours. 
Uh, another lip liner I'm using is this W7 Lip Twister in the shade Red. W7 is a really affordable brand, you know, you always see them in like B&M and the factory shop and Semichem, but this lip liner is actually really good. It's a pro like, they have, their products are quite hit and miss, but I do find that this lip liner is amazing. Okay, moving on to lip products, I have my L'Oreal Lip Paint Matte. And this is in Wuthering Purple, so it goes with that liner. Again, in the States, these are the infallible lip paints. Not sure why they put infallible on everything else but the lip paints in the UK. But just in case you're watching from the States, being like, what? Well, that's a different name. Um, this is a really, really nice formula. It's like a really kind of whipped formula. And this is a really pretty colour. Um, I've also got a couple of ColourPop lipsticks here. This is the Ultra Matte Lip in... Love bug, and this is a really nice orange toned liquid lipstick, and it's super pigmented. And this is another ultra matte lipstick from ColourPop. All the writing's faded off, and this is in the shade Mama, which again is like a really burnt orange shade. And I am um, ColourPop do some of the best lipsticks ever, and you know I love their lippy sticks, and their liquid lipsticks are to die for. Then I also have my Clinique Crayola Collaboration Tubby Stick in the shade Red Violet. I absolutely love this. Again, this is more of like a collector's item. I don't know if they still sell these, but I know that Sally Hansen have a collaboration with Crayola with their nail polish, and I need to get them because so much nostalgia and being an artist, just need this. And another lipstick I have is this Ted Baker lipstick. I got in a set, and it has no name, but it is this kind of tinted balm but it is super pigmented this is kind of berry color it's got kind of glitter in it and this is a really comfortable nice lipstick that does stay on and then last but not least i have my mac star trek limited edition this is for the 50th anniversary lipstick in the shade where no man has gone before i am a massive massive star trek geek and here it is this is just beautiful sparkly pinky nude shade it goes on quite sheer but it is this is the luster formula from mac and yeah i mean i have like a star trek tattoo on my chest as well like I just, just and it is amazing um so yes that is everything i'm keeping in my makeup bag this month or week and depending how i feel so i mean i've got my liners with liners Lipsticks, we've got highlights, sponges, <laughs> you know, primers, etc. So, I think that is pretty much everything I would need in makeup class. I mean, obviously, if I'm having a day where I'm like, I really want to wear a black lipstick, or I really want a certain shade of pink or a different foundation obviously you know I, I would just go upstairs and grab that but I am trying to ta make myself use more of my makeup as I said I mean my graveyard girl palette I use almost every single day it is my favorite palette ever but you know I am trying to use more of my makeup that I own um again sorry this is such a kind of rushed video with my messy living room in the background um but i really wanted to film this i was just packing my makeup bag and i thought you know what i actually want to film this because as i said there's another youtuber who she does this on her channel and i was just so inspired because i was like you know what it's such a good idea so i hope maybe i've inspired someone to be like i have a lot of makeup let's get more use out of it or if you like this then yay so as i said please hit that subscribe button down below i do lots of different videos i have vlogs i have hauls i have um there's like tattoos goth stuff my daughter who ivy films a lot of videos on my channel about being having celiac disease so yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in my next one see you later bye